Hello everyone. So in this session we are starting with the, the next concept that is taxonomical hierarchy. In the last session we completed um, the rules of binomial nomenclature with also with that concept we also studied about the uh, biodiversity, the definition of biodiversity, nomenclature and what are the two components of scientific name. So we have completed all these uh, concepts in the last session and uh, today we are starting with the, the present taxonomical hierarchy. So what is taxonomical hierarchy before we going to start that concept. Let us study some concepts, some definitions of uh, some terms. The first one is classification. What is classification? Classification is simple. Anything is grouped into convenient category based on their simple visible morphological features. So, if an organism, if you want to describe under any category, if you want to classify under any group or any category, we have to observe the visible characters. Then only we can make out or we can put it that put that organism in different categories or in different classification. So, why I am telling all these uh, terms before starting the taxonomical hierarchy is yes, my dear students what I am going to teach you it is it belongs to the taxonomical hierarchy. So in the taxonomical hierarchy it is nothing but systematic positions about the systematic positions of uh, different organisms what are the systematic position what is taxonomical hierarchy or taxonomical category and what are the units present in that taxonomical hierarchy and uh, so what is, what is that after the classification one more term is there. So let me write the definition of this that a classification is anything that grouped into convenient convenient category based on based on what based on some easily observable characters some easily observable character. So I told you on that day you have to write the definitions of all these terms. So because the chapter weightage is 3 mark the first portion in the in the annual examination the in the annual examination in whatever the board gives the question paper no so in that question paper the first question will be uh, from this chapter and that is of one mark okay so one mark one question and two mark one question total weightage of this chapter is three mark so you have to uh, read or you have to learn all the definitions of these terms Okay, so after the classification I told you we will see one more definition of the term taxa. Taxa means what? So taxa is a scientific name, scientific term given to the categories. Okay, scientific name, so it is a scientific term given to the category. So still if we are not getting what is taxa, when I start telling you about the systematic position, there I will conclude, there I will tell in detail about the taxa. Okay. So after the taxa, we have one more term that is taxonomy. So taxonomy it is the branch of biology and who is the father of taxonomy that father of taxonomy is 
Carolus Linnaeus. He was the one who started classifying the organism based on some describing characters, based on some easily observable, char observable characters on base uh, basis of uh, on based on his theory on based on his classification number of scientists they have they too started the work with him and after him so we'll see the definition of taxonomy now the taxonomy is based on the characteristics based on the characteristics what on what basis based on the characteristics all living organisms all living organisms what all living organisms can be classified into different taxa all organisms can be differentiated into different taxa. The process of classification of organism is known as taxonomy. Okay, so it's all about the classification based on the differentiation, based on the different characters, the organisms can be classified into different groups or into different categories. That process is known as taxonomy. And who discovered this? Carolus Linnaeus. So he was the one who described all this. So Carolus Linnaeus, his first book was Systema Natura. His book was Systema Natura. What kind of book it is? It is uh, just a title it is that he has given to that book. He wrote one book and the title of the book is Systema Natura. What was there in that book? It's all about the systematic positions. Systematic positions of different organisms. How if we want to describe an organism, on what basis we can describe the organism? Right from the morphology, right from the, uh, the vegetative characters, reproductive characters, everything on all those bases, we can describe the uh, organism and we can write the systematic position of that organism. So, Carol Linnaeus, he was the one who started the work on taxonomy. Taxonomy is nothing but differentiation, differentiating the character, differentiating the organism based on their uh, simple observable characters and that process is known as taxonomy and his book was titled as um, Systema Natura. Okay, so we will start um, with the taxonomical hierarchy now. Today's concept is taxonomical category. Categories. Taxonomical hierarchy. You can call taxonomical hierarchy or category. So, I'll write the 
hierarchy now consists of seven units you might have remember i have completed the systematic position of human being of homo sapien so in the class 3 of brush course i wrote the uh, what is that systematic position of human being by giving some uh, uh, definite and uh, the uh, description of uh, all those units right so if you remember that it will become easy to you to understand this so first is kingdom the next is phylum or division the third one is class the next is order the next is family genus species so how many units do we have we have seven units the seven units seven units just um, um name them just read it it is kingdom here phylum or division the class order family genus species so i have given two names here in the second unit it has come across two names why it is so why the other units they don't have any two names it is simple if we are classifying any animal if a uh, if we are classifying an animal so we have to write the phylum not the division okay so for the uh, animals the systematic position units will be kingdom phylum class order family genus species if we are classifying a plant so we have to write the division so that is the difference between these two units so uh, in the uh, while describing the definition i used one term taxa right taxa is nothing but the scientific no term given to the categories so this is one taxa 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 like this it goes on and it is also known as rank and it is also known as units of classification so we have these uh, seven taxonomical categories so how to under understand on what basis the organisms are put it into the kingdom and the phylum or class or order it is little bit difficult to understand what will be there in the species okay so to make you to make it clear i'm going right from the species so i'll start with the species i'll keep on going in, in the form of ascending order ascending why i use this term why i use this word because so the species are species are like uh, uh, if we are talking about an organism a uh, an individual organism it is known as a species and number of species will come in the genus number of genus included in the family number of families included in the order number of orders comes under the class class will be having number of uh, uh, number num this unit will be having number of classes under phylum so five phylums are there in the kingdom how many kingdoms are there no, i'm sorry i use the term five phylums it is not a five phylum phylums and number of phylums and divisions so when i start telling you about the plant kingdom and animal kingdom i'll make it clear how many phylums and how many divisions are there so all those phylums and all those divisions comes under the kingdom now we have to make out how many kingdoms are there how many um, uh, types of kingdoms are there according to w h whitaker five kingdoms are present right protista monera and what is that plantae kingdom plantae kingdom monera sorry kingdom animalia so only five kingdoms are there in the kingdom and plantae all 
all the species of plants involves so the uh, population is more in kingdom than compared to phylum or than compared to class like this the species the number keeps on reduce when it go in the decrease in manner when if we go in this manner the number increases how come we'll understand now okay so first i would like to take the species so what is species species is just a species how can we differentiate how can we uh, define the species it is easy to differentiate or to define the species so species is it is a group of individuals group of individuals having what they are having or individual so just complete it individual organism with fundamental similarities fundamental similarities group of individual organisms with fundamental organisms so i like to take one example here the example is as follows i have taken one potato here and one brinjal here can you make out the differentiation the different characters between these two we can easily make out the potato it is uh, what is that mm, round in color and uh, they have scars on the body it has uh, the apicar and it is uh, it grows under uh, underground uh, or uh, in the in the soil under the soil it grows so like that we can give number of number of characters number of descriptions but I, I if i tell you to describe the brinjal what are the differentiation or sorry uh, the characters of brinjal brinjal it has uh, the what is that um, seeds and uh, it grows on the soil be, uh, um, uh, on the surface of the uh, in the plant it grows not under the soil above the soil so and if we come to the food category it is used in many um, uh, foods it is it, it has been used in many different uh, different kind of vegetables or different kind of foods the potato can be used but the brinjal it is limited only in limited foods they can we can use it so these are the some different features yes right so this is one individual organism and this is one individual organism these are species potato is one species brinjal is one species if it if it want to mate if it want to um, pollinate if it want to cross it cannot it is it do not select the brinjal species it goes to the uh, one more the similar species of potato if it want to pollinate it will select the same species of brinjal okay so here what what is my concept my concept is this is one species a group of individual one more potato one more potato one more potato like this number of uh, uh, sorry a group of individual organisms one potato and one more potato if you see uh, taking in your hand two potatoes the qualities the uh, the characters will be much more similar than compared to these two they will be having number of fundamental similarities and also they can interbreed together in 
interbreed together which one one potato and one more potato the, then um, don't uh, mistake this word so the potatoes they cannot pollinate they cannot interbreed they have different reproductive organs by means of which they reproduce but if we come to the brinjal first in the brinjal plant it bears a flower the after the pollination the fruit forms so we can conclude here so brinjal uh, one species of brinjal and one more species of same species of brinjal they can interbreed together so like this we can call this uh, the, the this group of individuals with having fundamental similarities and they can also interpret together so this type of organism is known as species no two different species can interbreed naturally if we are interbreeding if we are crossing two organisms in the laboratory condition we can successfully do the we can do the procedure so i'll give some more examples when when i start telling about the genus okay so you have to write the definition of species now now coming to the genus the genus definition is as follows it is group of related what group of related species which has more characters in common to species of other group of related species uh, my dear students look, just look at this i used to write the s like this so don't get confused with the n this is not n this is s okay related species which has so what group of related species which has more characters in common to more characters in common in common to species of other genera one more definition one more uh, line i would like to write here that is genera genera are aggregates of closely related species aggregation of closely related species so what is that if you are not understanding the genus when i start telling the examples you'll easily you'll come to know what is genus okay so here what i have written group of related species which have which has more characters in common what is that one species and one more species do they have um, more similar characters and they also telling to species of other genera one genera and one more genera they'll be having similar characters how they'll be having similar characters we'll start telling by taking we'll start um, understand by taking few examples here the examples are as follows so this is the genus name and the species is species here i am writing the species names here 
the common names. Solanum Solanum nigrum is black nightshades. Black nightshades. Solanum melongena is eggplant. Eggplant or brinjal. Solanum tuberosum is potato. So, what? How you have to read these? Solanum nigrum. This is the scientific name for black night shades. What is black night shades? These are the plants which bear this type of fruit. These fruits are highly economic important. They have high medicinal value. Okay, one thing. And Solanum melongena. Melongena, this is the scientific name for brinjal eggplant solanum tuberosum just now we talked about this the potato so the potato and brinjal they have common genus what is that solanum how come on what basis they have put it put those two species different species into one genus that is all about my concept Today, what I am describing you, number of species, number of different species come into one genera, genera or genus. So, here, how can we differentiate these? So, all these common, co these species have one common similarity. They have high economic value. That's why they put it into one common genus known as solanum yes my dear students that's all about the plant example if we talk about the animals the animal i'll write here the panthera panthera so this is the genus name and the species are Panthera leo, Panthera pardus, Panthera tigris. What are these? These are the different, three different scientific names. The Panthera leo is known as, the common name is lion, Panthera pardus is leopard and Panthera tigris is tiger. Okay, so panthera, lion is totally a different animal. Lion, leopard, tiger, they all different species. But they all come under only one species that is panthera. Why the scientists grouped these different animals into one genera? Because all those are roaring cats. Here, on what basis they grouped into single genera because they have high economic value and uh, they also known as big cats or roaring cats. That's why they put into put that into only one single genera that is roaring cats. Species is different, genus is same. One more example I would like to mention here that is all that is about the mango. You might have uh, 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 had have uh, different uh, species of uh, mango. In the mango season our parents used to say so which fruit would, would you like to, which species would you like to have no uh, better that uh, they used to tell they used to converse like so this species is good uh, badami um, uh, is good that, uh, that one is good this mango is better it will give more taste so you might have heard about all those conversation so we'll conclude those conversation here so what is that So uh, let me okay. I'll write here itself. Mangifera. 
the common genus for all the species of mango and the different species are as follows mangifera odorata mangifera cecia mangifera indica mangifera one more species mangifera fetida here i'll write fetida what all these these are the different species of mango mangifera fetida the common name is horse mango mangifera odorata the common name is quinia mango mangifera cecia the common name is uh, binjai they used to say and the mangifera indica the most common species find everywhere so that is mangifera indica the common mango so horse mango or uh, the white mangoes or quinia all these are a uh, little bit rare species for us but they exist they have differentiated these different species and put it into one common genus known as mangifera okay so this is a little bit extra information if you want to write you can otherwise these two examples are more than enough when you write in your book you have to write solanum nigrum solanum melongena solanum tuberosum don't write this okay if you write like this you'll get confused why i have written um, uh, like like all these okay so we'll pass on to the next unit that is hope you have understand these concepts if you have any doubts my dear students please ask me because this is new subject for you the next is family what is family don't tell me joint family or nuclear family because this family is far differ from our family this family belongs to the taxonomical hierarchy and it is the third unit of taxonomical hierarchy when we start going to work from the species okay so family is it is nothing but the it has group of related it has group of related related what related genus related genera with all what with all with all uh, uh, less number of all less number of similarities between the organisms and the families most of the family they differentiated based on the vegetative and reproductive characters vegetative and most of the plant families are grouped based on the vegetative and reproductive uh, characters of that organism of that plant so if you are not getting by seeing by reading the definition we'll start writing the examples if we take two or three examples you will easily make out what i'm telling here okay so i'll write here two families name okay so what is that family the first one is solanaceae so so this is the one example i have taken from plant one more example i'll take from the animals known as felidae 
what is that felide okay f e l i d a i so the solani see this family consists of number of genus genus in sense just now we studied what is that solanum we know in the genus solanum how many species come comes with the solanum i'll write two more genus one is petunia and datura okay so this is the solanaceae family one example i have taken here the solanaceae family includes number of number of like 20 to 30 genera or genus out of 30 to 20 to 30 i have written only three here okay so the solanum as we know the solanum includes eggplant potato black nightshades and what about put petunia we don't know about the petunia because we didn't read about the petunia simple it is petunia they'll be having number of flowering plants under this genus under this genus or it includes number of only flowering plants flowering plants in sense uh, uh, which is uh, more uh, which has more um, economic value one is flowering plant one is high economic value um, and then one more is datura datura this is also one genus it includes includes one species known as datura stromanium i i just now said only one species it's not like that uh, datura stromanium this is the very common species find everywhere and so many species will come only i have taken one example here okay so solanum petunia datura all these are all these are the genus have common family known as solanaceae but if you see the species flowering plant is different wild plant is different egg plant brinjal is different potato is different 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 um, uh, organisms are coming and falling under same family they will be having lesser number of similarities so each and every organism something will be present something will be there what is that their vegetative and reproductive um, um, character will be similar that's why they put it into same family that is solanaceae yes my dear students if you still have doubt please do please ask me okay so solanaceae after after these plants we'll move on to the uh, what is that uh, what is that felide okay so the felide include it includes on the genuses number of genuses out of those number of genuses i'll write here only two genuses what are those one is panthera and felis the panthera and felis what actually it is these are the two different genus it includes the roaring cats or big cats felis felis this is the genus for domestic cat whatever the cats comes under the domestic animal domestic cats their genus name is felis this is big cat and this is small cat but these are all cats all these species have less number of similarities what is that cats that's why they put it into the scientist they put it into common family that is felidae yes my dear students can you see the family name of plant and family name of animal the family name of plants ends with ac 
ac and the family name of animals ends with the name suffix uh, day felidae canidae solanaceae and uh, one more is petunaceae and pallaviceae so like this number of families whatever the families are present in plant kingdom those family name ends with the suffix ac and day under plant kingdom okay so when we start describing or when we start writing the systematic position of plants we used to choose only vegetative and reproductive parts of plant and we put it into the similar character showing similar character uh, of um, showing similar characters of vegetative and reproductive so those comes under the same family solanaceae okay panthera those are roaring cats or big cats felis is a domestic cat genus name that's why it comes under the same genus sorry same family felidae the next is what is the next unit the next unit is order the order assemblage of families what assemblage of families with few similar characters and that is known as order families with few similar characters it is known as order number of families comes under the same order either it is plant or animal so we'll take one example here polymonialis one example from plant carnivora one example from animal okay so polymonialis and carnivora so these are the name of the order <coughs> the polymonialis it includes the spe uh, sorry families like convolvulaceae and convolvulaceae and solanaceae see the name ends with the suffix ac and car carnivora this so this is the order of animal it includes the family felidae canidae felidae canidae the felidae and canidae they both are the two families comes under the same what same order um, carnivora and convolvulus and solanaceae they both are the different uh, uh, family comes under the same order polymonialis on what basis convolvulaceae and solanaceae and they both falls under the same order based on the floral characters based on the floral characters 
convolvulaceae will be having the similar character of flower with this family because of this having only that much of similarity n uh, lesser number of similarity they both comes under the same uh, order polymoniales okay so carnivora carnivora this is the order it includes felidae and canidae felidae if we recall the family family uh, here felidae it includes the big cat uh, roaring cat and domestic cats and with that we have one more family common family with uh, uh, with a similar uh, sorry uh, less number of similar characters that is canidae the canidae if you remember in the first session of this living world i mentioned i took first or i guess second or third i don't know um, uh, i took the i wrote the scientific name of dog what is that canis lupus yes my dear students the dogs comes under the family canidae okay so here dogs and cats these two have these two have the similar character what similar character do they have because of that similar character they falls under the same family sorry same order they are carnivores they eat the flesh they eat the animals because of the that character because of having only one character they comes under the same order that is carnivora so if you know different uh, species having similar genus similar family similar order you can make out you can write the note of all those so that you will come to know on what basis the species are differentiated um, uh, when i start telling the class or phylum or kingdom the characters will become much more much more very less number of characters will get when we reach to this kingdom but here species one species and one more species potato and potato they have number of fundamental similarities and they can breed when we start growing when when we start going in the upward direction will will decrease the those characters will decrease the fundamental similarities only taking few of the characters the systematic position goes on okay yes my dear students so i'll stop to this in the next session i'll start the class phylum and kingdom before going to end this session i would like to repeat one more time please please do follow this these classes because if you miss any of the classes if you miss any of the word from me you will miss the the concept you won't understand the concept if you do not understand what i'm telling you what is the basic or what is the uh, what is there in the first chapter when i go to the class 12 or uh, in between any of the sessions when i take the scientific name or when i start telling about the floral or anything related to these chapters related to this concept you won't understand you won't understand what i am telling you because my my only my, uh, i request you to come see, watch the complete session and follow and uh, write the keynotes of all these okay if you have any doubts please don't hesitate to ask me thank you